Hello Fleet Ready fam, welcome to Fleet Ready Gaming, my name is Savad, and today we're doing another episode of Patch Note Watch Out. This one's a day late, wasn't feeling all the best yesterday, but feeling a lot better today, and thought we'd go over and check it out, so let's get into it. Alright, so... Uh, the patch notes is for February 10th, 2023. Uh, we are still in wave two. They have not opened up to uh, open PTUE just yet. Um, but, you know, there's still always tomorrow, so we'll see how that leaves us. Let's go ahead and take a look at the known issues. So for the known issues, uh, we have for r, &R Clinic, uh, pharmacy kiosk terminals do not have sales inventory displayed. It's already planned to be fixed in the next build. Good to know. The Area 18 pharmacy kiosk may display an invalid location error when attempting to purchase any item. So a lot of medical pharmacy issues going on. The Constellation... Um, Multivariant snub fighter is still having issues uh, making it unusable. Uh, Wallace Klim is still missing from the drug lab in Grimhex. Looted ammo clips still drop off players. Uh, still having issues with audio and sound effects with quantum travel. Uh, the multi tool RMC canister attachment is still not properly attaching. Scanning is still not showing advanced statistic and details. Elevators and trams are still jittery during transit of player characters. Uh, some ship wreckages still are giving no material text. Do not let you salvage. Uh, C2's landing at Area 18 still results in flow, slow uh, frame rates or crash. Uh, ships, when they fly near each other, still seem to hit an invisible box that kick it in a random direction. Uh, high, car uh, high capacity cargo vessels are still, when loaded, can cause severe performance drop on both client and server. Um, if a player is killed, or if a player is placed into cluster after being rescued with a crime set, they still spawn in a incapacita incapacitated state. Uh, the uh, October Rising mission still has an issue where the ship will disappear when you get close to it, making it impossible to complete. Selling some of the cargo while vehicle is stored causes it to show it at max capacity. Uh, large amounts of cargo sold at once will cause the transaction to fail. The cargo will be taken and no money will be granted. A lot of these are all the same. Um... Stolen cargo does not behave as such and can be sold as lethal cargo if the ship with the cargo is stored. Uh, occasionally, players will be unable to exit ship seats. Players uh, still falling through elevators. Uh, items are not properly being cleaned up uh, to the persistent limit when vehicles are streamed out after 60 minutes. The player is unable to call elevators from hangar interiors. A ship retrie uh, retrieve ship delivered to a docking port will be missing collision. That one's been here for a while. When storing a ship to ASOP terminal, will set the ship status to claim instead of retrieve. Yeah, so all every single one of these issues has uh, been going on for some time. Um, really hope we see these fixed. Some of them... You know, as I've mentioned in previous patch watch videos, you know, I've ran into a couple of them, but I've definitely heard that these have been going on for a bunch of people. Moving on to the feature updates, ultra wide quality of life updates, added new visor support for various aspect ra uh, rations, plus high field of views, added four, three, six, 19, 21, 9, 32, 9, 48, 9 visor mesh. Uh, meshes which get swapped out based on the current aspect ratio. Visor mesh will be dynamically assigned onto the camera surface uh, or dynamic FOV offsets, so will always encompass the whole screen. No more custom horizontal FOVs based on aspect ratio will be calculated uh, automatically from vertical limits now. 
increased vertical FOV limits from 5467 to 5490 since it's working now with a dynamic visor, fixed block bands, low res visor, and area 18. Uh, they also prevented med gun use in green zones, so no more overdosing other players. For bug fixes, they had a single fix made, which was ship spawn with hull damage after fresh claim. Definitely good to make sure our freshly claimed ships are not uh, damaged. Then three client clashes, uh, crashes and uh, two server crashes were also fixed. So overall... It was quite a small patch this time. I mean, it was uh, the end of the week, so I, I can I could see how it they weren't able to get that much out. But uh, there's still definitely quite the list here, and hopefully this next week we'll see a bunch of these get ironed out. You know, I I have a feeling with the stress test that they did here. Um, a couple days ago that they're probably going to be asking a few more of these to really figure out where these bugs are, are coming from because I think that's the issue is, is that I that some of these bugs as we know can come from multiple issues and that just fixing one part does not fix the bug in total so hopefully uh, hopefully we'll see this get narrowed down here in the coming days um, but yeah, that will do it for the video today. If you enjoyed the content, please uh, consider giving us a like. It helps spread our channel in the YouTube algorithm, letting people know we exist. And uh, if you feel like we deserve it, consider uh, subscribing to us. We're currently sitting at 36 members, looking to grow to 100 by the end of the year, trying to grow that community of ours. So that way we can have fun discussions and, uh, yeah, get into trouble. Um, with that being said, we're going to end the video here. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.